Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss about 10 different coats of arms of bishops from England and Ireland. And we're talking here mainly Anglican bishops. The first is blazoned, sable, a dove argent between three crosses, pate or. This was the coat of arms of John Williams, born in Northamptonshire, England, around the year 1636, who became chaplain to William and Mary after the Glorious Revolution and was consecrated Bishop of Chichester in the year 1696. And here we see an oil painting of Bishop John Williams. Next we have or a chevron between two couple closest sable and three roses gules slip vert, the roses stalk leaved vert and seeded gold. This was the arms of Miles Smith, the Bishop of Gloucester, confirmed in 1717. He was a key translator in the creation of the King James Bible, and he had four sons and three daughters. And here we see an oil painting of Bishop Miles Smith. Next we have Sable, three Talbot's heads erased between nine crosses crosslet argent. This coat of arms was granted to John Hall, born in the year 1633, an English clergyman and academic who was Bishop of Bristol in the late 1600s. And here we see an oil painting of Bishop John Hall. Next we have Azure on a Chevron Argent between three East Oils or as many Escalops Sable. Crest, a dexter hand cooped at the wrist erect proper holding a cross crosslet fitchy gules. This coat of arms was granted in 1690 to William King, the Bishop of Derry, who went on to become the Archbishop of Dublin from 1703 until 1729. And here we see an oil painting of Bishop William King. Next we have gules, a chevron between three keys argent. This coat of arms was granted to Matthew Parker, Archbishop of Canterbury in 1559. His son used the same arms and he was granted the following crest, an elephant's head cooped or tossed gules. And here we see an oil painting of Archbishop Matthew Parker. Next we have Sable, a cross pate between three fions or. This coat of arms was that of Reverend John Jackson, born 1811, who became the Bishop of Lincoln in the year 1853. He had one son and ten daughters with wife Mary Ann Frith. Next we have quarterly first and fourth gules a chevron ermine between three Saracen's heads in profile cooped argent, second and third gules a chevron or between three stag's heads cabossed argent attired of the second. This was the arms of John Williams, a Welsh clergyman born in the year 1582, who was a political advisor to King James I, as well as Lord Keeper of the Great Seal, and the Bishop of Lincoln and the Archbishop of York. He was once imprisoned in the Tower of London for committing perjury. And here we see an oil painting of Bishop John Williams. Next we have Argent on a chief indented gules, three escalops or. This coat of arms was recorded 
in the funeral entry of Jeremiah Taylor, the Bishop of Down, who died in the year 1667. He was born in Cambridge, the son of a barber named Nathaniel Taylor and Mary Dean. He was a cleric in the Church of England, who was a famed writer of the time known as the Shakespeare of Divines for his poetic style. He married and had two daughters and was once taken prisoner with all the royalists during the siege of Cardigan Castle in the year 1645. Next we have Azure on a Fest Cotiste or Three Leopards Faces Gules. And this was the coat of arms of Edward Lee, Archbishop of York, from the year 1531 to the year 1544. Next, per satire azure and gules, a lion passant garden oar. Crest, a lion's head garden oar between two wings argent, each charged with a fleur de lis azure. This was confirmed to John Young, the Bishop of Rochester from 1578 until 1605. He was born in 1532 and educated at the University of Cambridge, where he served as Vice Chancellor in the year 1565. And lastly, we have Azure, a cross Calvary on three steps Argent, in Dexter, Chief, a Sun or in Sinister, a decrescent moon argent. And this was the coat of arms of Anthony Martin, granted when he became a bishop in the year 1624. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about coats of arms, please visit the link in our description and click the Discover Your History button. And here it will take you to our genealogy packages and heraldic research service packages where we can research the lineage of one or two or three or four of your grandparents going back as far as records allow, which is typically a few hundred years. And we assess as to whether or not any of those ancestors owned a coat of arms, and if they did, which one. Please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.